On this video, we're going to look at the beginning career of Dennis Condry. Many people might know him as the Midnight Express with Bobby Eaton, Randy Rhodes, Mamie Norbell Alston. But on this one, we will tell you exactly the start and where he started and who trained him. Rodney, I did not know this, and we've known Dennis Condry for many years and did not know that he was trained by Ole and Gene Anderson. Oh, it would it would explain now, being that he was trained, of how great he was as a tag team, because it's my opinion, the number one, the greatest tag team of all time was Ole and Gene Anderson. And Dennis Condry, when we were doing our top ten, I believe he was in about three, I think he was in three or four, I included him in as the various tag team partners he had. Uh, just tremendous. His first matches was with Mid Atlantic Champions for Wrestling. Joe Turner, and I did not know this until I did the research on it, was the person who helped Dennis get into the wrestling business. What many people did not know was Dennis was Joe's brother in law. So he really got into the business because of Joe Turner. Joe Turner, you know, a lot of people don't know, but you know, he drew a lot of money in wrestling. Uh, I think he at one time was Joe Sky. I think Bill Bowman was uh, Bill Sky. And they were a tag team that drew a lot of money in the uh, 60s. Uh, but he gets, into, he gets into professional wrestling. And really, he's off and running. And uh, Rodney starting on August 22nd, 1973. Now, I don't know how long he trained with Ole and Gene. Uh, I would say probably a, a year or so. Because uh, they just didn't train you, and then six weeks later, you got in a wrestling ring. So That's right. Start out at the City Auditorium in Asheville, North Carolina, on August the 22nd, 1973. It's Lord Jonathan Boyd and Nordman Frederick Charles III defeating Don Reese and Dennis Condry. City Stadium, Lynchburg, Virginia, August the 24th, 1973. Dennis Condry versus John Heidman. It's the Cumberland County Memorial Coliseum, Fayetteville, North Carolina, on August 27th, 1973. Don Reese defeats Dennis Connery. September the 17th, 1973, back at the Cumberland County, uh, Cumberland County Memorial Auditorium in Fayetteville, North Carolina. It's Terry Sawyer defeated Dennis Connery. Memorial Auditorium, Greenville, South Carolina, on October the 8th, 1979. Mike York and Frank Monty defeats Joe Turner and Dennis Connery. Township Auditorium, Columbia, South Carolina, on October 9th, 1973. It's Johnny Weaver and Art Nelson defeating Dennis Condry and Joe Turner. All right. then, uh, this is wait. this is kind of interesting. Look at Joe Turner and Dennis Condry teaming with with each other at the beginning of October. It looks like. Yep. Well, you can see that they knew they were about to leave. Dennis Condry and Joe Turner will make their way to Leroy, uh, Leroy McGurk's territory, which I think was Tri State Championship Wrestling at the time. Dennis Condry would start wearing a mask, and he would wrestle as Dante and have a partner, and Joe Turner would be his partner, and he'd be called the Mephisto. Dante and Mephisto, a and, uh, mass tag team. And practice, basically practice tag teaming with the in South Carolina for uh, the Mid-Atlantic, and then go there and uh, apparently get uh, ready for the push. Yeah. Rodney? All right, we come up on October. October 15th, 1973, Tulsa, uh, Tulsa Assembly Center, Tulsa, Oklahoma. Pez Watley and Klondike Bill defeats Mephisto and Dante, which is Joe Turner and Dennis Condry by disqualification. Monroe Civic Center, Monroe, Louisiana, on October the 16th, 1973, Dr. X and Klondike Bill defeats Mephisto and Dante by disqualification in a two out of three fall match. Mississippi Coliseum in Jackson, Mississippi. On October 17th, 1973, it's Mephisto and Dante versus Ron Starr and George Strickland. St. Bernard Civic Auditorium in Chalmet, Chalmet, I hope I said that right, Louisiana. On October the 18th, 1979, it's Mephisto and Dante versus Pez Watley and Salento Rodriguez. It's Lafayette, uh, Lafayette, if you will, Sports Center in Lafayette, Louisiana. On October the 19th, 1973, Salento Rodriguez and Betty Austin versus Mephisto and Dante. You know, when you look at when you look at this, Dennis Condry pretty much gets trained by, the, by one of the best tag teams and, and two of the best wrestlers uh, that ever put on a pair of tights, it's Ole and Gene. 
He ends up being in his first tag team, which I did not know he ever teamed and wore a mask. Uh, <laughs> I thought he went directly from uh, where he started to Tennessee. But we find out now that he did go to uh, Louisiana Territory, basically the Tri-States Territory. And October 22nd, and these, this is this is all going to be 1973, so I won't, uh, I won't just say 1973 uh, every time, but October 22nd, Shreveport Municipal uh, Memorial Auditorium, tremendous building, by the way. <laughs> it was so good. I one of the best. Thing. One of the best. Great, great atmosphere. Mephisto and Dante defeated Klondike Bill and Pez Wally. A two out of three falls match. October the 23rd, the McGuire, the McGuire twins, Billy and Benny, defeated Mephisto and Dante by disqualification in Monroe, Louisiana. And almost every time they were on the cards uh, that we were at, and we saw them in Chattanooga. Uh, always, always big crowds <laughs> to see the McGuire twins, and and uh, you know drew a lot of money in uh, in that in that time. But October twenty fifth, Saint Bernard uh, Civic Auditorium, and I guess Shallow May. I'd say I guess that's how you would say that. Is that how we say Shalomet, or is it Shalomet, Louisiana? Well, uh, you you continue, and I'll look that up. Mephisto and Dante defeated Klondike Bill at Oni Wiki Wiki. I think my mother's uh, favorite wrestler, Oni Wiki Wiki. October 30th, the Monroe Civic Center in Monroe, Louisiana. Mephisto and Dante uh, went against Jim Ledford in Oni Wiki Wiki. You know what? They need a guy named Oni Wiki Wiki. That's a great name. Yes, I love that name. Uh, let's see, November 1st, the Skatorama. In Greenville, Mississippi, Dante Mephisto defeated Ron Starr and Klondike Bill two out of three. November eighth, the Skaterama, Greenville, Mississippi, Alex Perez and El Grande uh, Tapia defeated Mephisto and Dante by disqualification. Uh, November tenth, Swinatorium in Greenwood, Mississippi, Mephisto and Dante went against Klondike Bill and Doctor X. November fourteenth, Mephisto and Dante. Went against Bob, defeated Bob Backlund and George Strickland in Independence Hall in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. There we see Bob Backlund. Uh, November 15th, uh, Skidorama, Greenville, Mississippi. Dewey Robertson, Klondike Bill, and Luke Brown defeated Mephisto, Dante, and Skandar. I guess Skandar Akbar? Uh, you know, I just thought about this. I guess Skandar Akbar was the manager? Possibly. It makes sense. Uh, it makes sense now that they had a manager. So I guess he did all the uh, talking for them. Uh, uh, but disqualification, which uh, Dennis Gondry probably done a better job. Skandar, Eric Barr was. But uh, November 16th, 1973, Vicksburg City Auditorium, another great wrestling build. Loved that build. Vicksburg, Mississippi, Ron Starr and Dan Crawford defeated Dante and Mephisto, two out of three falls match. Uh, November 19th. Shreveport Municipal Auditorium, Shreveport, Louisiana, Mephisto and Dante defeated Alex Perez and El Gran Tapia. November 21st, Independence Hall in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, Bobby Whitlock, Mephisto and Dante defeated Dan Crawford, George Strickland, and Dr. X, two out of three falls match. November 23rd, Lafayette Sports, Lafayette, sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm in Georgia, evidently. Lafayette Sports Center in Lafayette, Louisiana. That's Lafayette. Lafayette. That's Lafayette. Lafayette. Let's try have... that one more time yeah. and uh, take care of that. November, <laughs> <laughs> November 23rd, Lafayette Sports Center in Lafayette, Louisiana. Mephisto and Dante went against Rip and Randy Tyler. Excellent. Then we come back to Shreveport, Municipal Auditorium, Shreveport, Louisiana, on November the 26th, 1973, Mephisto and Dante defeating Oni, Wiki, Wiki, and Mr. Clean, Skaterama, <laughs> Greenville, Mississippi, on November 29th, 1973. It's uh, Klondike Bill and Don Crawford uh, uh, defeating our versus uh, Mephisto and Dante. Lafayette Sports Center in Lafayette, Louisiana, November the 30th, 1973. Mephisto and Dante versus Rip Tyler and Randy Tyler. Sportatorium in Greenwood, Mississippi, December 1st, 1973. It's Dr. X and Dan Crawford versus uh, Mephisto and Dante. Independence Hall in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, on December the 5th, 1973. The Demon and Grizzly Smith 
defeat Dante and Mephisto. Independence Hall again, Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Uh, on December 5th, the same night, I guess, it's Gentle Ben, the wrestling bear, defeating Dante by countout. St. Bernard Civic Center in Chomet. I looked it up. It's Chomet, Louisiana. On December the 6th, 1973, Mephisto and Dante versus Salento, Rodriguez, and Oni Wiki Wiki. Rapides Parish, Coliseum, Alexander, Louisiana. On December the 11th, 1973, Mephisto, Dante, and Bobby Whitlock defeated or were against Don Crofot, Oni Wiki Wiki, and Jerry Usher. Independence Hall in Baton Rouge, Louisiana on December the 12th, 1973. Mephisto and Dante defeating Danny Hodge and Salento Rodriguez. Lafayette Sports Center in Lafayette, Louisiana on December the 14th, 1973. Randy and Rip Tyler along with Bob Sweeten versus Mephisto, Dante, and Bobby Whitlock. LaRonger Coliseum, one of the great facilities in Louisiana. In LaRange, Louisiana, December 15th, 1973, Mephisto and Dante versus Dr. X and Grizzly Smith. Rapides Parish Coliseum, Alexander, Louisiana, December the 18th, 1973, Mephisto and Dante versus Klondike Bill and Luke Brown. St. Bernard Civic Auditorium in Shalomet, Shalomet, Louisiana. On December the 20th, 1973, Ken Mantel and Danny Hodge defeat Mephisto and Dante in a two out of three fall match. Lorenzo Coliseum, Lorenzo, Louisiana, on December the 22nd, 1973. It's Mephisto and Dante versus Grizzly Smith and Luke Brown in a two out of three fall match. You oh, know. The last one. Oh, wait, wait. We got one more to go. Right. December the 28th, 1973. Lafayette Sports Center, Lafayette, Louisiana. Bob Sweet 10 and Sick Freak Stank. I guess that's right. <laughs> or Stanky. <laughs> <laughs> versus Mephisto and Dante, winner unknown. That was in a Texas rules match. We will look at Dennis Condry in 1974. And I've not looked ahead to know where he goes, if he's still there, if he stays for a while. I've not looked because I want it to be uh I want it to be surprised like you are. Because if you know Dennis Condry, you know his career, you would think, hey, he started in Tennessee. Like I thought he did, but no, he starts Mid Atlantic Championship Wrestling, makes his way to Tri State Championship Wrestling, and uh, really, I believe main event wrestling as, as Mephisto and Dante started right. Uh, yeah, tremendous stuff, tremendous uh, thing. La Roger Coliseum, uh, beautiful facility, but you know, really, I like the facility to a certain extent as far as the building had one heck of an atmosphere in that little oh, absolutely building. absolutely it's the restrooms that set set it apart from all other uh arenas ever went to yeah the laranja coliseum uh, the wrestlers always would say these words well i almost put that guy's jacket on when I was going out and, uh, you know, I just, Jim Duggan always just said, Hey, baby, that's, that's my, that's my foot. You're trying to put that boot. <laughs> uh, beautiful location. And everybody that ever came to the territory, they said, listen, you need to be dressed up nice for this building. It's a very beautiful building. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, we hope you enjoyed this video on great Dennis family. Condry. By the way, great family who ran the LaRonger Coliseum, by the way. Yes. Fabulous. Yes, people. they were. Yes, they were. Uh, we appreciate you uh, watching our videos. We hope you enjoy them uh, right here on Facebook and on YouTube. We do appreciate it. Uh, we'll see you on the next video about Dennis Condry, and we'll look at 1974. Until then, this is Brent and Rodney West for Pro Wrestling Inside Now.